Aortic aneurysms are four times more common in the abdomen than in the chest. These are called abdominal aortic aneurysms, or AAAs. More than 90% of AAAs occur below the renal arteries, referred to as distal abdominal aortic aneurysms, or distal AAAs. 10% of AAAs involve the renal arteries. These are called juxtarenal AAAs and require a special surgical intervention to preserve blood flow to the kidneys. We will introduce AAA surgeries in the next lesson. Aorta anatomy and size is generally consistent across age, race, and gender, though women sometimes have slightly smaller vessels. The distal abdominal aorta has an average diameter of 2 centimeters across all races and genders. Remember the rule that an aneurysm is a 50% or greater increase in diameter from the nearest proximal segment. That defines distal AAAs as measuring 3 centimeters or more. The size of abdominal aortic ectasia ranges between 2.4 and 2.9 centimeters. Distal to the aorta, iliac artery aneurysms can form as extensions of an abdominal aortic aneurysm or as isolated dilations. They occur only one-tenth as often as abdominal aortic aneurysms. Aneurysms in the iliac arteries occur in 70% of cases in the common iliac artery, 20% in the internal iliac artery, and 10% in the external iliac artery. Only the proximal common iliac artery diameters are measured during abdominal aortic ultrasound screenings. The internal and external iliac arteries become important to scan in pre- and post-surgical ultrasounds, which we will discuss in Chapter 3. Common iliac artery aneurysms can be difficult to classify by the 50% diameter increase guideline since, when evaluating the proximal common iliac artery, the nearest proximal segment is the aorta, which is naturally a larger vessel and can be aneurysmal itself. Therefore, direct measurements are used to define iliac artery aneurysms. The maximum normal common iliac artery diameter is 1.7 centimeters for males and 1.5 centimeters for females. For both genders, the common iliac artery is ectatic up to 2.4 centimeters and aneurysmal at 2.5 centimeters. Pro tip, when a patient has an abdominal aortic aneurysm, there is a 20% chance they will also have an aneurysm in the popliteal artery behind the knee. Oftentimes, popliteal artery aneurysms occur bilaterally. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.